Hey, welcome back. This is Vicki with Brick After Brick Toys. This is a special build that we're doing today. This is the Basilisk from the Chamber of Secrets in the Harry Potter second book. This is actually one of the smaller builds in the Great Hall set, but I wanted to do it separately just in case you'd like to create your own Basilisk. You don't necessarily have to buy the Great Hall set to do that. So here are all the different parts and pieces that you're going to need if you want to build your own basilisk. Just remember, when you are putting this together, you may not really want to have a basilisk around because they are the most evil creature within the whole Harry Potter wizarding world, according to Aragog, who is the evil spider. So what is the basilisk? If you remember, the basilisk was actually under control of Salazar Slytherin, one of the original founders of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, along with Godric Gryffindor, Helga Hufflepuff, and Rowena Ravenclaw, who are all very talented witch and wizards. And if you remember, Harry is a parcel mouth, and so he has the ability to communicate with snakes. So this whole second movie and book is really interesting because of the Chamber of Secrets. And if you remember from the very first movie or book, Harry can talk to the snake in the zoo because he's a parson mouth and didn't know about it. So he's always wondering why he could have chosen Slytherin or Gryffindor as his house. And because he was a natural parcel mouth, he had the ability to speak to snakes just like the original Salazar Slytherin. And who is the heir of Slytherin? Of course, we all know he who must not be named. So anyway, what do you think about this? I think this looks actually pretty good. As far as Lego is concerned, how could you really make a snake? Because the snake is soft and slimy and squishy and Lego just is not that. So I think they actually did a pretty good job of designing this for us to have something, you have to have the ability to um, at least represent the basilisk because it's such an important part of the story. All right, here's the head, and I'm sure that you have lots of these pieces just hanging around. If you look through your Lego buckets, I'll bet you have most of these pieces right in there. And here are the eyes of the basilisk. I think this is not very convincing because once you put the head on, you can't really see the eyes but you can see the teeth, and I think the teeth are the most important part. As you know, one of those teeth is very important because it's gonna be used later. <laughs> all right, I don't wanna give all of the movie away and all of the book away, but I think this is definitely a fun play feature for you to have. So leave us a comment below. How would you use this snake or basilisk when you're playing. I mean, would you actually build this? Do you think it would be fun to have? The only other snakes I've ever seen in Lego are like the little green plastic ones or um, sometimes the cobra. So they, you know, they, it's hard to create a snake out of Lego. So anyway, I think they did a great job on this. Leave us a comment below what you think and if you think you would build this ever, because I think it might be fun to have as part of your Lego collection, especially if you're a Harry Potter fan. So if you're not a Harry Potter fan, you probably um, haven't been watching this video. But just so you know, I actually do have a review of the Great Hall coming up soon, and I have a, um, a build of the Great Hall so that you can actually see all of the pieces and parts and how it was put together. But here is the Basilisk in front of the Great Hall. I think it looks great. And I love the teeth. The fangs are really important. If you've seen all the books and movies, you know how important one of those basilisk fangs is um, to Harry Potter. So leave a comment below and let us know if you remember what it's for. And most of all, have fun building your Lego world. 